Hello students, today I am going to discuss with you an essay in which the statement has the sentence is this a positive or a negative development. This is a type of opinion essay and I uh, will be discussing how to handle this as this type of essay in different ways. Uh, the general pattern of the question is, it has been seen that recently many parents are sending their children to boarding schools. This is just one example of the essay I have taken. But the general pattern always has this sentence below the top main sentence. Is it a positive or a negative development? So your opinion has been asked whether it is a positive or a negative development. There are three options to handle such essays. The first option is completely one-sided. The second option is discussing both sides but favoring one. That means you are more in favor of positive or more in favor of the negative but you have points for the other side also which are fewer than that. And then there is a completely balanced essay in which you will say that it is equally positive and negative development. The key to writing a good IELTS essay is uniformity throughout the essay, the introduction, the body paragraphs and the conclusion should convey the same viewpoint. Let's take the same example we discussed earlier and discussed how and discuss how to achieve the conformity for all the three approaches completely one-sided, balanced and discussing both sides but overall favoring one side. It has been seen that recently many parents are sending their children to boarding schools. Is it a positive or a negative development? In the introduction, you will rephrase the question and then your opinion in which you will say that I believe it is a positive development or I believe it is a negative development. But there are other better ways rather than writing the simple thing I believe it is a positive development. You can imply that if you can do it, it will certainly be, certainly be better. I will give you the example right now. And then in the body paragraphs, you will give the topic sentences and the points. And then in the conclusion, you will repeat what you said in a in the opinion in the introduction, but in different words. So the IELTS essay is in the introduction, you tell the examiners what you want to tell them. In the body paragraphs, you tell them, and in the conclusion, you tell them what you told them. So here, let's see. Introduction. It is irrefutable that enrolling children in boarding schools has become more and more popular. I believe that sending children to boarding is beneficial for them and leads to their holistic development. Uh, boarding schools uh, is beneficial and leads to their uh, holistic development. Holistic means overall development, all round development. Then body paragraph one. There are many reasons why I believe that sending children to boarding schools is beneficial for them. Then uh, in that paragraph, I'll give two reasons. Then the body paragraph two, I'll continue with the same tone. Another reason is that or I can say furthermore. And that will mean that I'm continuing with the, uh, you know, benefits of boarding schools. And in body paragraph three, the same tone continues. I can put one point by start, starting the paragraph with. Finally, when children study in boarding schools, they meet people from different backgrounds, which makes them dash, dash, dash. So then you write the conclusion. One sentence uh, generally is sufficient. Sometimes you need two. Uh, that's one sentence or at the most two sentences in the conclusion, which can fetch you very good band score. In summary, I would like to reiterate that the trend of sending children to boarding schools is a positive development. Now, uh, you see, this is uh, the main uh, theme which I followed in this essay. Uh, this, uh, in all the, you know, the introduction, the conclusion and the body paragraphs, all these are pointing towards that boarding schools are positive. That sending children to boarding schools is a positive development. So this, you can see that all parts of the essay are completely in sync with each other and support the completely positive side. That is one way to handle. The second way to handle is discussing both sides but favoring one side. That means you can say having positives but overall negative. Introduction. It is irrefutable that enrolling children in boarding schools has become more and more popular. I believe that sending children to boarding is beneficial for them in some ways 
but it is detrimental for them in the long run. So I've used the word beneficial and detrimental. Uh, this is a, a telling completely that positive in some ways, but generally negative. So this, uh, I don't need to write straightforward that uh, it is uh, positive to a uh, little extent, but more, uh, but on the whole, it is largely a negative development. Uh, that will also do, but uh, uh, you can just imply in, such, uh, in uh, this essay that I believe that sending children to boarding is beneficial for them in some ways, but it is detrimental for them in the long run. It's completely implying what I want to say in this essay. So you can see um, body paragraph one, sending children to boarding schools can have a few benefits for children and their families. So this is benefit one and benefit two. In body paragraph two, my tone will totally change. I'll say on the other hand, or I can say despite the benefits, I believe that studying in boarding schools is detrimental for children ultimately. And then I'll give two reasons. And then in the third paragraph, the negative tone will continue. So you can say that I have made two sentences, uh, two paragraphs for the negative development and one for the positive. That is exactly what I wrote in the intro, that there are some positives, but on the whole, uh, negative in the long run. So um, in the body paragraph three, I can start in addition. In addition means I'm continuing with the what I said in the second paragraph. In addition, when children study in boarding schools, they might feel homesick, which can lead to uh, whatever then you could add. Conclusion, in summary, I would like to reiterate that the trend of sending children to boarding schools can be considered positive to some extent. However, it is a negative development overall. So this is, uh, this is the pattern which I followed in this introduction, body paragraphs and conclusions. All are saying there are some positives but overall negative. So the, all the three parts of the essay the introduction, the body and the conclusion are in sync with the with each other and support the overall negative opinion despite a few benefits. Please note, a good essay in this case will have more points in favor of negative than positive as the overall opinion favors negative. To make it easier, the student should preferably write two paragraphs for negative and only one for positive. Then the third type which uh, you can say equally positive and negative, the introduction. It is irrefutable that enrolling children to in boarding schools has become more and more popular. I uh, believe that sending children to boarding is beneficial in some ways and detrimental in other ways. And thus, I would consider it to be both a positive as well as a negative development. Then body paragraph one. Sending children to boarding schools can have a few benefits for children and their families. Benefit 1 and benefit 2. Uh, then body paragraph 2, tone will change despite the benefits. I believe that adverse consequences of sending children to boarding schools cannot be ignored. And then effect 1 and effect 2. Uh, then conclusion. Uh, in summary, I would like to reiterate that the trend of sending uh, children to boarding can be... Uh, <clears throat> both equally positive and negative children to boarding schools can be equally positive and negative so uh, this is the thing i've uh, followed in this introduction body and conclusion equally positive and negative see all the three parts of the essay are completely in sync with each other and support the balanced opinion now that uh, one thing that you must be very particular about is that when you write a balanced opinion essay, there should be the same number of paragraphs for the positive and negative side. So in such an essay, you can either make a four para essay overall in which uh, apart from the intro and the conclusion, you have one paragraph for the positive side and one for the negative. Or you can have a six para essay and you can have two paragraphs for the positive and two for the negative. Uh, two body paragraphs for the positive and two for the negative and intro and conclusion that will be an uh, overall six para essay but it should be equally balanced essay uh, as far as the paragraphs are concerned uh, now this is one question that i am giving to you to attempt in this uh, way you can write uh, you 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 should uh, uh, make the intro and the conclusion i am not asking you to write the whole paragraph whole essay 
just make three intros and three conclusions uh, in all the three types uh, that I've explained in this video and uh, I will try to correct all that for you and uh, give you the feedback for your intros and conclusions. Most countries depend on fossil fuels. However, in recent times, some countries have started shifting towards renewable sources of energy like solar and wind power. Do you think it is a positive or a negative development? So this is the task for you. Thank you very much for watching patiently. Good luck for your exams.